I was 23 at the time, sitting around my living room playing Trivial Pursuit and realized I had learned a lot more about American history than I had about Canadian history. I decided that afternoon that I would create a Canadian trivia game. The first step I had to do was write the questions and that took about eight months. We had it produced in Canada and that took about four months. So I had this warehouse full of 20,000 games I needed to sell. I kept saying, you know what, if I can't sell all these 20,000 games I made and I'm stuck with them, what I'll do is I'll go to bars and challenge people to play Canadian trivia, $5 at a pop, and you know, I'd, I'd make my money back that way. In the evenings, I would go to the public library, because this is before internet. I'd look up the yellow pages in each city, and I'd look for bookstores, game stores, toy stores. Wake up early in the morning, I'd start calling in Newfoundland, and then I'd start calling in the Maritimes, and I'd work my way out west. I got a van. We decorated it with flowing maple leaves and pictures of the games. And I drove from Victoria to Halifax and Halifax back, stopping in cities right across Canada. We do newspaper interviews, radio interviews, TV interviews. It was uh, me with my game and young, gutsy, and prepared to take on the world alone. And it was the first time I sat back and said, hey, you know, this is something I've done. Hey, it's real. It felt good. The game gets played in classrooms, the game gets played as an educational tool, but really it is meant for people to play at home and to have fun. Everybody starts here on the East Coast and they make their way across the board to the West. First one to get to the end, to the West Coast, wins the game. You spin the spinner, you get your category, you're asked a question from that category. If you get it right, you move forward. If you don't, your turn's over. In the past, we had an adult game and we had a junior game. But if you want to play as a family, you have to buy two, two different games. So we combine them together to create the family edition. And what that means is that on one side of the card, you've got three questions for kids. On the other side, you've got four questions for adults. That way, the whole family can play at the same time. I like asking people, name the maritime provinces. Because this question seems to get a lot of people with different answers. But actually, Newfoundland and Labrador is not considered to be a maritime province. Is it's an Atlantic province. We've used post-consumer recycled materials in the box and the board. Even these game pieces were manufactured in North America using recycled wood content and recycled plastic content. It's about places you've been, people you've met. It's about Canadian life. And I think that's what people found really engaging about Canadian trivia.